Hey guys, today I'm going to be going over a few design games that can be a fun way to help improve your eye and um, you know just a fun thing to do when you're not actually actively designing uh, but want to do something that maybe would improve your design skills. So yeah, let's jump into it. All these websites will be linked in the description. The first one is going to be called It's Centered That uh, from supremoco.uk. Basically from here what you're going to do is uh, read this little uh, caption at the bottom which will ask you a question. Uh, whether or not the dot is centered within the circle um, or whatever respective shape comes up next. So this one obviously is not. Let's click no and it'll tell us we're correct. And it'll basically just keep showing you a bunch of shapes and you have to decide whether or not it's centered. Yeah, this is a great way to improve your eye quickly. The next one that we're going to jump into is Can't Unsee. Um, again, each one of these will be linked in the description below, but um, this one is Can't Unsee dot space. So Can't Unsee is a, essentially a bunch of UX patterns um, and you have to decide uh, which image is most correct. Um, sometimes, you know, I guess that can be subjective, but this will give you a quick way to be able to identify, you know, inconsistencies or problems with UX patterns. Next, we're gonna move to one of my favorites, which is uh, Shape Type. So what Shape Type does is it gives you a letter and essentially what you need to do is work through it with what is essentially the pen tool, anchor points that have been preset for you to try to uh, fix a piece of type that has been given to you. So, you know, smoothing out different angles uh, and essentially just making sure that the type looks as good as it can. Next is a fun one. It's called Hex Invaders uh, at hexinvaders.com. Uh, essentially, the objective, as it says here, is to destroy the invader that matches the supplied hex code at the top of your screen. Hex codes uh, are based on the combination of red, green, and blue. To the right, you can see that each of the three colors is represented with two of six numbers. The color intensity ranges from zero, no color, to F, all the color. So if you are supplied a color of zero, zero, F, F, zero, zero, there is no red or blue, but all green. So quick rundown of what what these values mean in a hex code. So FF00 would be all red. So we'll click that. That's the right one. Yeah, I'm gonna close that because the music is annoying, but um, that is hex invaders and a, a fun way to quickly, you know, uh, learn to identify different hex values. Sometimes being able to identify those hex values can be a, a valuable skill uh, if, you're, if you're using those a lot. This last one is definitely my favorite. Um, I think kerning is super, super important in um, a lot of times an overlooked area of graphic design. Making sure that your words are current properly is really critical in creating a visually appealing word mark or uh, header, really, really anything. Um, so what current type does is it gives you um, a word and you have a couple different letter options to move around and you basically just try to kern that word as good as possible. Um, basically you want the spacing between each letter to be uh, as visually similar as possible. Not necessarily mathematically similar but as visually similar as we can. So this typeface is Garamond by Claude Garamond and see how close I got? Oh, I was way off. So let's try again. <laughs> Uh, we have Y-V-E-S here. Let's go there and there. Yeah, so we did a little bit better that time. That was um, 100%. Um, also in this lower left corner, you can see the solution, um, your spacing, and both. Uh, so you can see kind of how far off you were. But yeah, those are five quick games to kind of play around with and uh, improve yourself as a designer while not actively designing um, Sometimes designing all the time can be a bit much, so it's, it's fun to play a game here and there and improve through other methods. So thanks for stopping by today, guys. Uh, if you enjoy content like this, it would be awesome if you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.